have to excuse the mess um, and maybe some shakes, but I'm here. I've landed in Ukraine. What the hell am I doing here? Well, I'm going to go out and explain that out on the street, but I thought I'd just show you my little Airbnb. It's pretty cool, but it's a mess. You know, I came in and it was minus seven, I think, and I literally just chucked all my stuff down, put all my stuff like straight onto charge, and then just we went out, had, had some dinner, and then I passed out for like 12 hours because the flights were the worst flights of my entire life. But quick, quick walkthrough. So this is the bathroom. It's got underfloor heating, which is really nice. It's only like a little studio, a uh, little sofa bed. They didn't give me any, like they gave me a sheet, but no like doona cover or pillow cover covers. So that's all right, we can rough it. It's, this is more than good enough. There's actually heaps nice. But then, yeah, all my jocks and socks and everything just everywhere. But then, oh, the view. Welcome to beautiful, fresh <laughs> Ukraine. I think it's minus three today. Well, the top of minus three and the bottom, I think, of minus six. So that's fantastic. But let's, um, let's see what we're doing. Let's go for a cruise. rock and roll as long as I've got my phone and I know I've got a code to get in and out of this building for those who were following along last night you might know the codes are a bit funny to get into which building's which Good morning from beautiful somewhat sunny Ukraine this morning. Um, I don't really know where I am, but I'm just gonna walk this way. Like, I've got my phone, I've got Google Maps, I'll always get back to uh, my Airbnb. But it's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought I was gonna have to like, chuck my beanie and gloves on as soon as I walked outside, because it was gonna be just insane. But it's actually, uh, it's actually not too bad. I'll chuck a hat on in a little bit. I wouldn't mind trying to find a coffee. Google said a lot of people spoke English here. No one, no one speaks English here. <laughs> it's really nice, I think. That building behind us is where I'm staying. It probably looks alright, but it's definitely very, very under construction. It's like all night last night, there was things banging around and getting on, but it's all good fun. It's part of travelling. It's one thing you can tell between like me and the locals is it is so slippery everywhere and I'm always sipping over with all the locals. See, it just is like any beautiful European city. Um, you know, you wouldn't know from the, say, 24 hours that I've been here or just under, talked to a few people, you know, very few speak English but ones have. You wouldn't think that, you know, only a few hundred Ks to the east. There's a border, you know, that could be taken by the Russians any day. Now, will it or not, you know, it's a conversation for another time. But so far Europe, Europe, so far Ukraine is absolutely gorgeous. It's just like, it's very similar to pretty much anywhere I've been in Europe before, but I've been, I guess, with a little bit of Soviet influence on, on buildings and whatever. And the cold. It's not as cold as like Finland, Sweden, but it's a lot of cold still. And like snow has, I think like an almost unique like scent, like diesel and snow. Because it reminds me a lot of like Afghanistan, where I don't even know what must be the scent of like diesel mixed with snow. Because there's a shitload of that there when I got there as well. But we'll have a cruise around. Love to have something hot, like a coffee or something. But God knows, it's still early as. A lot of these like zebra crossings that fuck knows who has the right away. 
like I think that I do dip my fair, but the road rules here, so one thing I'll say, say it seems very lawless, is the road rules or lack of, it's pretty hectic, we're in a, <laughs> not even in a taxi or Uber, you know, some random dude drove us from the airport. He's like a buck 30 just straight down the road and then overtaken on both sides of cars. So I think I'm in some like sort of city centre. Um, that's what my maps is telling me anyway. A couple of like small observations is everyone wears a lot of black. I guess there's a lot of like Soviet Russian forwards. Yeah, everyone's in black. I'm by far the person with the most colour here. And every male has like a very short like, military haircut. Like, all the people when they see my hair appear. Yeah, it's a little bit out of control, not that bad anymore, but absolutely just stare at me like, who is this fucking fool again in our country? Um, and it sounds really bad of me, but every girl is absolutely stunning as well. Like, I guess really traditionally stunning. Um, and like very, very stylish. And I'm just rocking around in like Lululemon or Lord of Jane and the fucking yeah, like athletic wear, it's all, you know fur coats and boots and all this shit. Like, I know it's cold, but I mean, it's cold back home. It's, it's more trackies and hoodies, but yeah, it's, um, it's something I, it's, it's hard not to notice as soon as you drive. You're like, oh my God, like everyone's tall and lean and really good looking and all the men are uh, very fucking like, almost militaristically looking. Um, and I stand out, which is just hilarious. But I haven't passed someone with coffee yet. I don't think, I probably have passed a million places of coffee, but I might sit my camera down somewhere, do a little bit of talking to you dudes, and then I'll keep rocking from there. So Ukraine, here I am. I'm gonna to have to be standing a little bit close because, well, I didn't bring a tripod traveling with me because, you know, I've tried to go as light as... Sorry, I thought I defocused myself then. <laughs> um, and as casual as this is, I guess, yeah, I've tried to travel as light as I possibly can, so I only bought, you know, two cameras, my GoPro, a microphone, uh, and a, like a little tripod that I can just hold here. Um, I guess the main question is why the hell am I in Ukraine? Uh, it's a, you know, definitely a country that's all over the news at the moment and it's you know a, a difficult place to travel I guess sometimes in the best, in the best of times, um, especially now. There's a few reasons, you know, I was actually meant to fly to Sweden uh, this coming Friday, which I think is today. Um, I'm all over the shop and I've got snot freezing, I'm sorry as well, but I was actually meant to go to Sweden for a thing and that got cancelled because of the EU, like the European Union's new rule on Australians entering. So I basically, I'd had money put aside, I had time, you know, put aside everything to go to do this in Sweden. And when that got turned off, you know, the, the next thing that really interested me was what was going on uh, with this Ukraine-Russia conflict. Um, and I thought, well, this is the world I want to get into. This is what I want to do. I just have to buy the bullet and go. Um, and talking to a few journalists, and I will say the freelance like journalist community, I'm probably going to change my view on this at some point, but seemingly like the most lovely, helpful people in the world. People are probably going to call me out and they'd be like, no, that's an illusion, but they just seem uh, fantastic. So, you know, a few days before leaving, I absolutely last minute booked a flight uh, to Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine where, where I am. You know, Ukraine a, a, uh, has a population of 44, I think, million people, so it's a lot bigger than Australia, um, and a fairly new country, you know, only having independence for, you know, 31 years uh, after the Soviet Union fell in 91. Um, so, and then now I'm here. Um, and what do I do now? Well, I don't know. I thought, you know, there's no better place to be in the world currently for, I guess, conflict media than here. Um, and if, you know, if Russia do, I don't think they will, but if Russia did attempt, you know, to, um, you know, take Ukraine and invade Ukraine, um, then this is where you want to be because the flights that will be closed. Now, I know, you know, I know the embassy, you know, all the embassy staff have left from America and the UK and Australia and whatever, but, you know, I'm also confident in my own ability and confident in myself to, well, firstly, not get myself into trouble, but then find myself, or get myself out of trouble uh, if I need to as well. Um, and you know, so far, Ukraine has just been fantastic. Uh, not many people speak English, but I'll get by, you know, Google Translate and hand signals <laughs> will get me through. Um, so that's the reason I'm here. I'm here because I want to, you know, I want to do this for a job and this is where I want to go. Um, 
and you know, of course there's a lot of other media will probably be here. I haven't seen any yet, um, and I'm mean, pretty much in the CBD, but you know, a lot of other media will be here doing whatever, but I'm just trying to do my own way, you know, post it on here, and the way I get funded is through, you know, AdSense and people here, so, you know, I can tell the story exactly how I see it, not how it might come across on some level of news. G'day. Love to meet you. I only speak English, I'm sorry. Oh, good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely people. <laughs> um, and that's one thing I've noticed, is everyone here is lovely it takes a little bit to get over i think australians and americans are probably the same as us are very like upfront like g'day mate how are you blah 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 where a lot a lot more people in the world are very reserved compared to us um and you sort of have to get over that and i noticed that when i first in finland i'm like oh my god everyone here hates me they don't they're just more reserved but they are so lovely because i think people go through so many hardships here you gotta remember anyone over 30 here lived in the soviet union and, and through a lot of hardship and it's still a developing country um but everyone here uh, it's seemingly like they'll help you now i know big cities there's also there's always some but um yeah it seems um seems great so far um so I think that explains everything. I've had no notes, no nothing, but I'm here in Ukraine and I'm gonna try to find any stories or covering day-to-day -day life here as much as I can. Sweet, okay, thank you guys. Yeah, I can't. Yeah.